I'm Sam Spicconi with Chelsea Now. I'm here today at the Good Stuff Diner at 14th Street and 6th Avenue with Corey Johnson, Democratic nominee for the City Council District 3 seat. He'll be running uncontested in the upcoming general election. Corey, you've spent the past eight and a half years as a member of Community Board 4, the past two and a half of which you've been chair of the board. Uh, talk about the positive experiences that that has given you and how you think it'll help you transition into your new role on the City Council. Well, it's been an honor and a privilege to be on Community Board 4. It's taught me an incredible amount and it's now an even greater honor to be elected by the folks who live in this district to represent them uh, in city government at City Hall. My time on the board uh, let me be involved in all these local issues, whether it be uh, fighting for more schools, uh, achieving more affordable housing, getting more parks and open space. So the work that I did on the community board with my colleagues is the same type of work that I'm going to be doing uh, in the council. And so I couldn't think of a better background and place to come from uh, to go to the city council from a local community board. It means I've been enmeshed in local issues and worked with local leaders on these issues and I plan on doing that. I'm not going far. Uh, the office is going to be different but the same uh, set of issues and the same local leaders are going to be involved, so I'm not going anywhere. A few days ago, the Daily News uh, wrote an op-ed piece in which they named you and several of your new colleagues on the City Council, specifically citing the fact that you've campaigned on the idea of reforming the way the Council spends money, and specifically the way in which uh, the new City Council Speaker, who will be elected this coming year, uh, allocates that funding amongst you and your colleagues. How do you plan to pursue that as a goal? I think it's job number one is to reform the council and that's going to mean that incoming members are going to be at least 20 of us new members and working with the existing members of the council need to come up with a rules reform package, a council reform package to change the way discretionary funds uh, are doled out, to change the way uh, the council works so that individual members are more empowered and that it's more democratic in many ways. I look forward to doing that with my colleagues and my hope is is that before we elect a speaker in January that these reforms will be agreed to by all the folks that want to be speaker so it won't be about any individual candidate but it will be across the board an expectation and I think it's one of the most important things we're going to be dealing with in the next few months as folks start to transition into their new roles and we start to elect uh, a new leader of the council. One of the top priorities of your campaign has been focusing on public education within the district and improving it along with issues like overcrowding. Talk about how you plan to pursue that on the council and how specifically you see a group like the Community Education Council playing a role in that process. So this council district is almost entirely uh, covered by Community Education Council District 2 and I've worked with the Community Education Council on rezonings that have taken place on getting new schools for uh, these neighborhoods. We're very lucky. We have an embarrassment of riches of great schools, PS3 and PS41 in the village, PS11 and PS33 uh, in Chelsea, PS111, PS51, Midtown West uh, in Hell's Kitchen and we're hopefully going to get a brand new middle school. It looks like very soon at 75 Morton Street. I look forward to working with the Community Education Council on all these local issues. I think that Community Education Council should be given an even greater voice in how these decisions are made at the local level. Right now the only real binding power they have is on zoning matters uh, and that's important uh, because it affects uh, who goes to which school K through 5. But I think we need to make sure that community, community education councils are empowered in an even greater way to a leading role at the local level on education uh, matters before the city and I look forward to working with the Department of Education, whoever the new chancellor is, local PTAs and the CEC and really delivering for the schools in this district. Thank you very much Corey Johnson. He's the District 3 City Council Democratic nominee. He'll be running uncontested in the upcoming general election. I'm Sam Spicconi with Chelsea Now.